Ladies and gentlemen, the assortment return. And then I heard knockings. Wake up, wake up. The time for action has come. It's time for you to put your long speeches and talks into action. It was then that I realized that this crown indeed comes along with a lot of responsibilities. It's time for me to realize my dream of 23 years. A dream to be the voice of the voiceless and to be there for the less privileged and the needy in society. Ladies and gentlemen, the fight against streetism, my dream. Shortly after my coronation, I launched my project at the Golden Tulip Hotel Kumase. I invited a lot of dignitaries who in turn came in their numbers. Some of them made donations and contributions to a queer street aid Ghana. The MP for Inshayeso, Dr. Richard Anane, donated 15 hair dryers and 15 sewing machines to a queer street aid Ghana. Apart from 10,000 and 5,000 in Mwaria, they have to learn. Yeah, pay. If you did, I did come at the end. Bear 15, they do need to have on the day tree. Now, pay hair dryers, so 15. And they're there. Make us say, from the MPs, come on, panel. But they saw 15 uh, hair dryers, then are 15 sewing machines. They may come and one day they may not So they may have uh, with me, I share sadness and tell me a victory I did not After the launch, I made some donations to two orphanages in Kumase, one at Edenase and the other at Epre off the Obuasi Road. I then went to the streets with some volunteers to scout for children for my project. We got 50, did some screening, and eventually ended up with 36 teenagers. I adored them at the cultural center for the world to know them as the beneficiary of a queer street aid, Ghana. I gave them hair dryers, sewing machines, books, uniforms, and other educational kits. 10 of them who were in school but had to drop out due to financial difficulties were enrolled back to school. Four went to try the DA primary, two Swami DA Methodist, and the others Amanquetia JSS also at Stadium. And the remaining 16 were also sent to learn various vocations of their choice. I was given a land at Atasumaso by the Atasumaso Hine after Ghana's most beautiful. And the main point behind this was to build a training center for street kids. And this center will provide shelter as well as train street kids in various vocations like hairdressing, tailoring, deco, among others. This has been my journey so far. I've gotten to the most integral part of my project, the part where I commence with the building of the training center. I've been able to produce as many blocks as I can with the funds that I generated during my project launch. I'll therefore plead with philanthropists, individuals, businessmen, government institutions and other individuals to come in and support this project. It can be in the form of money, building materials, uniforms and others. I really appreciate anything coming from you. Ghanaians, you made me who I am today. I therefore plead with all of you to join me in the fight against streetism. Join a Chris Street Aid Ghana and let's provide an alternative for street children so that Ghana can be a better and a safe place for you and I.